Hey guys, welcome back to Gainesville Homes Daily. Ryan here. Six homes new to the market since yesterday. Um, the first one is a townhome in Crossroads Village, subdivision 14355 New Bern Loop. Sold a couple over here actually. This one's uh, priced at 304999. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Almost 2,000 total square feet. It's got um, three level bump out. So you're getting the added square footage built in 2001. Uh, vinyl siding with a one car garage you can see here from the picture. Looks like um, some ceramic tile when you walk in in the entryway there. And it looks like throughout the lower level rec room area with a gas fireplace. See upstairs looks like we got hardwood. There's the deck out back. Kitchen with white cabinetry, white appliances, and I can't tell if that's Formica countertops. It looks like it's just Formica countertop. Doesn't look like it's granite. Uh, but nice hardwood floors throughout that main level. Good space, nice open floor plan. Here's the bedrooms. You know, this price for this one might be a touch high, um, well, mainly because it's a little bit older, built in 2001, um, right at the 2,000 square foot. I mean, many of the homes are pushing up to the 300 level, um, but in this in this subdivision, there's a lot of lower priced townhomes as well. So 304, I think, is definitely pushing the top end of the range for that subdivision. 14970 Largo Vista Drive. This is an Edge Hill detached contemporary home on 10 acres. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 2,600 square feet on two levels. Uh, 479, 900. Obviously, they're pricing a lot of value uh, or pricing it because of a, they're, they're valuing the land. Um, I would imagine add uh, you know quite a bit here. It looks like. Let me see here. Looks like that this must be. Um, the view of the lake that's over there. Um, and I don't know, it doesn't say in the listing if it's right there, but I'm assuming it must be right on the property. Hardwood floors in the interior. There's the kitchen. So kitchen probably needs to be updated a little bit. Looks like it's original from when it was built in 85. It does say, let's see... In here, passive solar, um, geothermal. Uh, so this home is green for those of you looking to go green. Uh, you know, I'm gonna say this this home is definitely unique. It's gonna take the right type of buyer, and there's definitely some some you know probably updating and renovations that are necessary on this one. Uh, Ten acres, obviously hard to come by, um, but you know re realize that you are gonna have quite a bit. Uh, of other things that you're going to have to do on the inside here. So price point is okay. I'm not thrilled, but those looking for 10 acres, um, it's a decent option, especially for you to be able to go in and make it your own. 7732 Vinewood Court in Virginia Oaks, 475,000 detached colonial, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, just under, uh, let's see, 0 0.188 of an acre, 2,654 square feet, partially finished basement. Um, it's in the golf course community, obviously, with Virginia Oaks, and it's located at the end of the cul-de-sac here. Two-car garage. Got tile backsplash, granite countertops, some medium grade cabinetry there. It looks nice. Hardwood floors. Deck out back. Nice, pretty relatively flat lot as well. Looks like Brazilian cherry floors throughout. Master bedroom vaulted ceiling. I'm going to say that this house is probably priced a little bit on the high side for square footage as well. Uh, you know, it's reasonable. It was built in 97, a little bit older. Um, obviously, Virginia Oaks is a, is a desirable neighborhood as well, but I will say that for the probably the square footage is priced at the top of the range there. 8150 Arrowleaf Turn. This is located at the Reserve at Lake Manassas. 1.549 million. Um, 8,453 8, square feet on 2.3 acres. Five bedrooms, six and a half baths, built in 2007. So um, this is a uh, waterfront colonial, granite countertops, in-ground sprinkler system, sound system, custom wet bar, uh, veranda. This has everything, three-car silo garage, as you can see. Huge, you can see, looks like a, um, the balcony off the master suite as well there. So this is going to be a rare find just because of the amount of land that it's sitting on in Lake Manassas. I mean, 2.341 acres on the water. Um, very hard to find, obviously. Um, those looking for that extra space with land, I think this is definitely a good option. 
pictures are a little dark and um, I would, I mean, I'm sure this house shows probably 15 times better than what the pictures uh, allow us to see here. Those that are interested, like I said, in this type of special property, media room downstairs, I think that this is a good find for you know 2.3 acres. Price point a touch high, but I think that you are getting quite a bit um, there being on the water. 7734 Yaltaway, Hope Wells Landing, just over a quarter acre lot, five bedrooms, three and a half baths, 500,000, 3,370 square feet, 2,500 square feet above grade. I'm pretty standard colonial, not many pictures to look at here. Um, it was built in 2009. The price point is pretty much in line with many of the others in that subdivision. And then the last one is 8217 Bearhurst Drive in Saranac, which is located along the Lake Manassas Community Two Car Silo Garage, 799-999. This is an arts and crafts style home, as you can see here from the front on a half acre, just over half acre, five bedrooms, four baths, two half baths. Um, this is a, a Griffin model. Um, and it looks like this is, I can't tell if this is to be built or if it's already built. Let me see here. It looks like it is ready for delivery because it doesn't say anything about being built in the future. So it looks like this one has been finished with a lower level rec, rec room, huge center island there in the kitchen. So if you're looking for brand new, it doesn't look like you can customize this much, but the home um, has a lot of stuff to offer, almost 5,000 square feet as well. So. Saranac is obviously a very desirable area located along Lake Manassas as well. Uh, so a decent option here built by Brookfield Homes. If you'd like to schedule showings for any of these, give us a call 703-596-0011 or visit us on the website at gainesvillehomesdaily.com. Hope everybody's having a good week. We'll be back with you tomorrow.